Hello, thanks for visiting my Wikibiz and more importantly taking a look at this video. I'll apologize in advance for uh, some of the delayed reactions on the uh, mouse and the clicking that we'll be doing, but that's because of the uh, actual software capturing this video slowing down the computer a little bit. A lot of visitors come to my Wikibiz and say why would I edit there when I can just go over to Wikipedia and edit on Wikipedia and get a lot more exposure and have a lot more uh, collaboration with other people? Well, we have a few reasons why, in certain cases, you definitely want to use my Wikibiz rather than Wikipedia. First, let's take a look at search engine optimization. If you just moved to a new house in Lebanon Township, New Jersey, you might want to do a Google search and see what's up with the local area. There would be the uh, Lebanon Township governmental website. There would be the Wikipedia article about Lebanon Township. It's all good stuff. But let's say your house is uh, heated with, uh, with uh, oil and your heating oil tank is empty in the basement. Well, in that case, instead of uh, searching for Lebanon Township, New Jersey, you might search for Lebanon Township, New Jersey heating oil. Well, that returns 9,850 results on Google, and the very first result is a page on my Wikibiz. It's about Van Doren oil. So, someone who's really looking to uh, find a, uh, a vendor to supply them heating oil in Lebanon Township, New Jersey, is very likely going to come to Van Doren oil simply because they have a page on my Wikibiz. How do they do this? Well, it's pretty interesting, but uh, my Wikibiz uses a version of MediaWiki software called Semantic MediaWiki that Wikipedia doesn't use. And what that enables us to do is to put in these semantic keywords down here. So we have a keyword for heating oil, we have a keyword for Lebanon Township, and we have a keyword for the state code New Jersey. So this page is highly optimized and ready to go for uh, high search results in Google. Let's take another example. You've probably never heard of her, but her name is Emily Hatton. She is the spouse of uh, former NFL quarterback Joey Harrington. Before she had a page on my Wikibiz, there were a lot of pages on the internet talking about her, uh, sometimes in a gossipy manner in a message board, um, or uh, you know, brief newspaper articles that uh, talked a little bit about her, but mostly about her husband Joey. Well, now that she has a My Wikibiz page, if you search Google Hatton, you get 183,000 results. But the number one result is a page on, you guessed it, My Wikibiz. Again, why does this happen? We're not exactly sure, but it certainly helps to have the page's title be the specific name that you're looking for. And, uh, you know, we've optimized the page with a few. Uh, semantic tags for uh, Emily Hatton's name, her marriage date, uh, her uh, date of birth, and uh, you know things like that. So for whatever reason Google seems to like that. We're not complaining. And it's not just Google, it's Yahoo too. Let's imagine for a minute that you're a middle school student and your assignment has been to write a, a short paper on uh, the economics of the industrial age. Well, you might type in a Yahoo search, economics, industrial age. What do we get? Well, lo and behold, we get 20,200,000 results, but the number one result is a page on my Wikibiz. Is it a huge dissertation with reams and reams of data? Nope. It's just a few paragraphs. How does this happen? We can't really explain it, but uh, it seems that the uh, page ranking algorithms for both Google and Yahoo seem to prioritize sites that are using the semantic web uh, nomenclature and using semantic tags within their articles. Just let's go back to that search, and you might wonder, well, where the heck is Wikipedia in this? Well, let's take a look. It's not number one, it's not number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not number 11, 12, 13, 14, there it is. Wikipedia is the 14th search result, and my Wikibiz is the number one result. A, uh, a short 
essay on the industrial age and you wanted other people to uh, find it would you write it on my wikibiz and get the number one search result on yahoo or would you try to write it on wikipedia and get the number fourteen search result on yahoo to me the answer seems pretty easy okay that's search engine optimization here's another interesting uh, factor about the differences between wikipedia and my wikibiz on wikipedia they have things called categories and so do we this one is called accidents and incidents involving airliners you'll see that wikipedians have gone to great lengths to try to subcategorize um, this general category they've got accidents caused by bad weather they've got accidents caused by instrument failure they've got accidents caused by mechanical failure they've got accidents organized by country when you click on that though you'll see that uh, the only country that they have actually organized is the united states so you click on that and you find that they've tried again with subcategories well let's uh, categorize all the accidents that happen in florida oh, let's categorize all the accidents that happen in kentucky do you think the only airline accidents that have occurred in the united states have only been in florida or kentucky it's just what we call category creep and it leads to a lot of clutter and it's really a bad way to organize data on my wikibiz we have a different way of categorizing we use uh, the semantic tags to incorporate data into articles now we've just done an example here with about uh, uh, six or seven articles about um, airline incidents but instead of coming up with all these goofy categories like um, accidents in Florida, accidents in Kentucky, crashes caused by pilot error, incidents in 1972, incidents in 1989, we've just created one dynamic table that shows all of the accidents, or it would if we had all of these uh, semantically tagged. And instead of you know trying to find well where were the accidents in 1972 or where were the ones in uh, you know 1969, you can just click this little bow tie. Uh, icon here and it sorts the entire table by date so you can easily find what you're looking for by date if you're looking for a particular type of aircraft again you can just sort this by uh, aircraft type if you were interested in what state the accident occurred instead of setting up whole new categories for accidents in Florida accidents in Kentucky you would just identify with a semantic tag in the article that the accident occurred in a particular state and then rely on the uh, visitor to this page to be able to have the foresight to sort the column and find the information that they're looking for. So you can see that we're, you know, we have two accidents here in California, one in the District of Columbia, one in Hawaii, one in Indiana, and so on. So isn't that a better way to organize data? I just don't understand why Wikipedia hasn't caught on to this, but uh, better for us that they haven't. One last reason why you want to use my Wikibiz. You can devote minutes and hours and days and months and years of your free time to Wikipedia improving that website and you will never see a single penny from that organization for all of the free labor that you've provided them. Over here on my Wikibiz though you can create a cool page and you can insert your own Google AdSense ad uh, banners within the page. When people click on these banners you get to keep not 10 percent, not 50 percent but 100% of the ad revenues that that ad banner generates. We don't keep any of it. So we're basically giving you free web space in order for you to have the opportunity to make a small amount of money, um, but really for the rest of your life. We plan to keep this site up um, for as long as we possibly can, uh, forever and ever. So you know, if you're going to spend an hour creating a cool article, why don't you have a lifelong revenue stream attached to it? And uh, just to show you that this is actually working, you know, I have maybe a couple of dozen pages on uh, my Wikibiz with AdSense ads, and you'll see that, oh, well, look at that. Today, I've earned 43 cents. Uh, last month, I earned, uh, let's see, uh, $5.51. So, you know, it's not something that you're going to quit your job over, but if I'm going to dedicate my time and effort to create good content on the web why shouldn't I get paid uh, you know what is this sixty dollars a year uh, get paid six hundred dollars over the next decade get paid uh, eighteen hundred dollars over the next thirty years if I contributed all that time and effort to Wikipedia I would still see zero dollars and zero cents after thirty years uh, which would you rather have eighteen hundred dollars thirty years from now or nothing uh, thirty years from now 
We think the uh, choice is pretty easy. We're not saying to use MyWikiBiz for everything, but there certainly are a lot of reasons to uh, publish your information on my, MyWikiBiz, and we hope that this video uh, helped inspire you to go ahead and log in and create an account today and get started.